Welcome back everybody, it's golf lesson time. I'm gonna take a look at my golf swing and pick out something that really bugs me in my swing, which gives me a little bit of a bad miss in my game. And potentially this is something that could benefit you as a golfer. I think everybody could improve in this aspect of their golf swing to help get better ball striking, better club face control and straight to golf shots. Okay, and, and there we go, straight out of the blocks. That's a typical shot for me, as you'll see on that ball tracer on Trapman. Starts off relatively square to my target, but then just has that little bit of overdraw and tends to just miss up that left-hand side. Now, the thing I really feel I, or bugs me a lot with my golf swing is lack of rotation. Now, some of you do comment and say how nice my golf swing is, which is very nice if you say so, but I feel when I break it down, I, I just, don't get my turn and my rotation enough through my middle section, my hip rotation. And this is probably a big thing I feel with a lot of golfers, amateur golfers as well, just don't get turning enough. You know, they don't open the body up enough. You watch the best players in the world, you know, obviously very rotational, very athletic flexibility wise. I'm not saying we can all get in those positions, but it makes sense how we can try and open up, improves that ball striking, that compression, and the club face control and everything else. So why does my Lack of rotation create that particular shot. So really what it is, is when the hands and arms just travel a little bit quicker in relation to the body. So when we don't open the hips up and turn as much as we'd like to, the arms tend to sort of pass us and that can create a little bit of strike issues, club face control. So you can imagine as it swings past us, it can start to flip a little bit, close a club face potentially. Then I may be in the realms of then trying to correct that and compensate that maybe through my hands and obviously that can then create a little bit of a two-way miss, can't it? But typically it creates a left shot and sometimes it gets this left arm into a little bit of an awkward position. And this word chicken wing, I think many of you will associate to it. It's a horrible position, isn't it? We sort of see that, that lead arm just sort of elbow fly up and we get this horrible sort of shape and it's a bit awkward, a bit stuck and then it's, it doesn't really flow into that follow through. So I always feel I need to get some more rotation in the hips and when I feel like I do that and I open up a little bit more, my club face control gets much tighter. My shots tend to come out a little bit more neutral with less curvature, which is ultimately getting a little bit more of a control between my, my club face and my path direction. Okay, so let's work on this hip rotation. To help me, I'm gonna use this train aid called Plane Mate, and this is actually the second version. It's a new version that's just come out, some new adjustments to the clips, and juniors can also use this as well as adults with the extender. So what this helps to do is to get a feel of rotation and it also helps you to get a feel of shallowing the shaft a little bit on the way down, which is also uh, another good attribute to making some good club deliveries. So the idea with this is obviously with this bungee rope being a little bit sort of tension in that setup position as you feel tension, get to the top of your swing, as you relax that on the way down, the, the bungee just relaxes a little bit, loses that tension, you can feel that. And then as you turn, through we get this extension back again through that bungee into that finished position and that's the bit i want to really focus on is this rotation that's the bit i feel i need to really sort of prove so if i can let that go a little bit earlier let this head just sort of move up a little bit more and feel like i can get into this position where i feel much more open extended through this left side then that's what I'm looking for, and that should give me some more or an improved club face control. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a few feel swings first, just, just next to this golf ball. So I'm gonna feel that tension, relax it, and then extend and feel that tension again. I can really feel that opening of the body. And I wanna be feeling that a little bit earlier, so as I get into impact, I wanna feel like I'm in this open position with my hips. I get a better side bend there, so I'm staying in my posture a little bit more, which is good. And then I can feel like I'm extending and getting that tension through this bungee again into this finished position. So a couple of small swings. That feels superb. Very much like I'm leading with the body and my hands aren't, or hands aren't throwing the club past me. Okay, so I'm just gonna start off with a couple of like, sort of three quarter seven irons. Take a bit of speed out, just get a feel of that sequence and that movement. That's a super strike. See straight away there, a little bit more neutral on that ball flight, less of that curvature. So straight away there, a little bit more of that club face control. Definitely feels like I'm working the body more and less with the arms. And again, very similar ball flight there. 
feels much of a later hit. And, the, and again, we talk about compression, though. We talk about getting that ball turf strike, very desirable for us as golfers, but many of us struggle to sort of do that. And really because the body just isn't transferring, having that shift, having that turn and hitting that ball that little bit later. We tend to, from the top, throw the arms down. And if you did this with Playmate, what'll happen, I'll do it from this angle, is if you throw that pasture like there, you can see that bungee gets tangled around your hands on the club, just sort of gets a bit tangled up. So if we can open the body, hold the arms a little bit in this position, you can see the bungee stays quite a bit away from your hands. So that for me is also a good way of getting some feedback through the, through the finish. Okay, so let's put a little bit more speed into this now. And really the speed, I'm gonna feel it more through the turn, not through my hands and the arms, not through my right hand throwing the club head in, just a little bit more through my turn. That's good, that feels like a bit more turn, see a little bit of a left to right shape on that shot, which I don't mind seeing at all. a nice shot and that's a ball flight I quite like to sort of see a little bit of that left to right shape and I always know it's a safer shot when I when I see that that's such a crisp strike and it feels like well the ball just doesn't move as much get more control of that ball flight more control of the side spin on the golf ball okay so let's have a little comparison between the two swings so the first swing on the left hand side was just that early shot hit which I hit my little sort of pulley one which is can be a little bit of a typical one and then the one on the right is just the swing towards the end there just with using playmate and maybe how that can get that feel of that rotation let's just see some differences that are happening through through the golf swing as soon as i start to get a little bit of that hip rotation a little bit of that sequencing takeaway wise probably not going to be a great deal of difference here very very sort of similar maybe a little bit longer with uh with my first swing just because i didn't have the playmate on there just maybe a little bit more sort of three quarters there's that tension on the bungee that we can see at the top of the swing that now gets sort of relaxed off there now as you get into this downswing now i want to stop it maybe at this part of the downswing here and just have a look at my legs and very similar part of the downswing with these two swings but you see less of that front um my lead left side thigh you can see I'll see a lot more of it there, can't I? So I'm, I'm starting to turn earlier in the downswing. Carry this on through. You can see I've lost sight there. I can still see that front left knee there, my lead knee. And now I start to see my lead leg come on the back of my trail leg. Don't see that at all yet. And then right on impact. So we can now start to see more, more rotation, okay? We can start to see a little bit more of my lead leg here, okay? And, and not so much... There's only a little bit showing at that point. Other well, thing to sort of notice as you come through this impact area as well, as, as, as well as that rotation, is then the posture. And you can probably just see this angle of my, sp back, my spine angle here or the bottom of my back in relation to that side. You can see I've actually stayed in posture a little bit more there, so I haven't tucked underneath as much. My right knee, you can see, has shot out a little bit more, which is making my hips just come in a little bit more, which makes me straighten up as my hands also pass my body. Whereas here now, I keep my backside out, which is me staying in posture, which is where this angle is a little bit more in relationship to my start position in my posture. And my right knee now hasn't shot out as much. It starts to move across earlier. You can see how it's less, probably look at it on the, on the line of the thigh there against this side. So it's not thrown out as much, it's turning a little bit more, a little bit more straight with that left leg coming through. Posture, again, staying in there for longer through the golf shot. Now, what I sort of need to do a little bit more here, and again, another thing that I'm very much um, prone to doing is keeping my head down for too long. And I have to put a bit of a pout going on as well. I don't know what that's all about, but I need to get rid of the pout. Uh, but the head stays down for too long. See the right hand, a little bit more flippy and start to turn up a little bit more there. I just need to get that, let that head follow now into that finished position a little bit earlier. Let me know how you get on that. If you feel like you struggle with that rotation, get a little bit of that chicken wing, comment down below, try this if you can, and let me know how you get on, and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon.